The federal court blocked Alabama's new congressional district map from going into effect. It sided with the plaintiff, stating the map needs to include at least two districts with a majority of black voters. Way 31's Xavier Wary is looking into the implications with the next election just months away. He spoke with the NAACP president and the Republican Party chairman today. Xavier. Hey, Dan, so one group says that this proposed map is just not fair to black voters. And then the other side says that this decision puts the state of Alabama in a tough spot. Well, it's important because we want to make sure that each person's vote is counted. I'm disappointed with the federal court having uh, play, gotten involved with this the week before the end of qualifying. Alabama NAACP President Bernard Simelton says it is important that the new congressional district map ensure that the African-American voice is being heard. We want to make sure that their vote are not diluted by packing all of them into one district or by cracking them and putting them spread out through spread out where they won't have many voting strengths. John Wall, the chairman for the Alabama Republican Party, says having to choose between a federal court order and the state constitution puts both parties in a tough situation. This was best left to the representatives of the people of Alabama through the legislative process. Wall, who was aware of the concerns that the new map is not fair to black voters, says he has some concerns about the requirements he's seeing from the court order. It would actually do away with the one majority minority district we have in Alabama. Um, there's not really any way to draw two districts in Alabama that are, that are majority, um, you know, African American population. Simulton, however, says the ideal solution is to adopt the map presented by plaintiffs. That map has two majority black congressional districts. That would involve slightly reducing the percentage of the highest populated majority black district, which is District 7. So we can reduce that percentage and then shift their percentage to uh, another district uh, in the Black Belt area and still come up with uh, two Black districts. But that's something Chairman Wall just doesn't see as attainable. Our minority populations are spread throughout the state, and so there's no way to draw enough of that population into two districts to create two majority districts. It's just not possible geographically. Now, Chairman Wall says that the next step in this process right now, it is up in the air. They don't really know what's going to happen next, but he does expect that the decision of the, he, but he does expect that the court decision will be appealed. Reporting live in Huntsville, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.